Welcome to the shooting show. This week, a post roebuck from the Yorkshire Worlds. Plus, we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. The rut is over here in East Yorkshire, but there's no rest for me. Far from a post rut lull, there's still plenty of row activity that I've spotted while wrecking the ground. So this is the perfect time to get out after a kill boat. I left it a little bit late in my shooting career to look after my hearing, but it's so important, especially for youngsters. What little bit I've got left, I want to look after. And the Sen's ear protection are absolutely fantastic. Stuart and I are out early doors to catch the rows they head out to feed. I know this ground well and have a good idea of the best rides and hedge lines to stalk. It's not long before I make contact, spotting a deer line up alongside a field margin. One soon turns into two, but these two row kids are not on the list today. We watch on, hopeful that a book is in the vicinity. So far, it's all been does and followers. The doe appears, but nothing else, and they slowly amble off before disappearing. Time to try a different patch of ground. I drive the edge of the estate seeing plenty of deer, but nothing that fits the cull plan or is in a shootable position. The morning is wearing on and I want to try another footstock before time runs out.
approaching the final likely location, I get set up on the sticks ready for an opportune shot should a buck make an appearance, but no such luck. We make the decision to withdraw and return that evening. Approaching the final likely location, I get set up on the sticks ready for an opportune shot should a buck make an appearance, but no such luck. We make the decision to withdraw and return that evening. In our haste to get out, we only caught the last hour here. I'd left my Sen's hearing protection back at the ranch, which was not the best thing to do. However, we shall just make the best of it. A little bit late getting out tonight. So, we're just gonna try and get the back corner of uh, square wood here, and then uh, we'll just come around, see what we've got, wind's ideal. So, yeah, but we got maybe half an hour so the light is dropping even faster than I'd thought but going to get into a book it has to be now we saw
Yeah, look. So, perfect shot. A little, little bit to the right of. Uh, I was kind of. So it's like two inches to the right. He was, he was slightly quartering as well. So, yeah, that's it. definitely broke broke a leg, but destroyed all the main arteries. Uh, yeah. Not even two yards into the wood. So yeah, dead on dead on his hooves. Beautiful summer coat. Yeah, it was worth uh, worth uh, just chancing that last hour. Uh, hey, look, if you don't go, you don't get. And uh, yeah, successful story. Managed to cut a decent book, uh, decent cull book. So we're nearly there uh, on the cull. So there's not going to be a lot of opportunity now till the end of the season. And uh, yeah, look, job well done. Can't say any more than that. Okay, I'll just bleed it out. As well, it's getting blood. Relic done. I'm gonna whiz back for the vehicle. Drag him out. Jobs are good in. Frustration turning to last minute success there. And now, the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. More than 100 scientists have backed hunting, saying the evidence is in favour of its conservation benefits. In a letter published in Science magazine, the group of scientists said that if trophy hunting was banned, huge areas of land will be converted to other uses and cease to be a habitat for iconic species. One of the signatories said, rather than have a knee-jerk emotional response, conservation action should be based on evidence. The RSPB has used its latest crime reports to accuse shooting of having a culture of criminality. The organisation found 87 confirmed incidents of bird of prey persecution in 2018, leading it to declare that raptors are being systematically and illegally eradicated from moors. In fact, crimes against raptors are below the five-year average. Basque said that the RSPB's focus should be on seeing enforcement enhanced and penalties increased. Britain has a gold medalist in shooting. Shona McIntosh won gold in women's three-position rifle at the ISSF World Cup in Rio, just three days after she won silver in the air rifle. It's the first rifle World Cup gold won by a Brit since 2002. This puts Shona in a commanding position to represent Britain's medal hopes at next year's Olympics. And finally, you can save money on your favourite shooting mags and a lot more besides. The publisher of Airgun Shooter, Clay Shooting and Sporting Rifle has just announced an autumn sale allowing you to get five issues of any magazine for just £5. It's even offered to overseas readers. That's a huge saving of over 90% in some cases. To take advantage, just head to the address on screen now. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.